Flames claim a boat sending thick black smoke billowing into the air over the wharf in the harbor in Monterey. Good evening, everyone. I'm Dan Green. And I'm Erin Clark. We are beginning tonight with that boat fire that quickly became a spectacle for thousands of people visiting the peninsula for Car Week. It burned a boat. It threatened others nearby. Action News reporter Brittany Nielsen has our top story tonight, live from Monterey. Well, Dan, Aaron, the smoke and flames were described as a fireball, really quick to ignite and intense. Witnesses say they saw a couple of people working on the boat's engine throughout the day, and investigators confirmed tonight that it was part of the work on that boat's engine that sparked the fire. I heard the pop, turned around, poof, smoke, flames. I'm like, this is going to be bad because fiberglass boats, they just melt. Bright orange flames and potent smelling intense black smoke. I could actually feel the heat across the channel. It was amazing, like a big bonfire. Firefighters ran hose lines from the wharf down into the harbor and along the wooden walkways. And they faced the threat of spread. And then there was another boat neighboring it with 1,500 gallons of diesel on board. And flames started to lick its cabin. And I said, we better get that boat out of there. And, they, and a couple of guys, they started to untie it, and luckily it just drifted right over here. You can see one side of that vessel is blackened, but not destroyed. Boats are really made out of, uh, think of them like mobile homes, where they're made out of really lightweight construction and things that are uh, basically petroleum products. So almost everything on a boat is built to burn. So once they do catch fire, they burn very quickly, very hot. Consuming this boat. All caused by fumes catching on fire. The gentleman was working on his boat, and uh, there was water in the boat, and there was a battery that he was lifting out of the bilge area. When he did, it caused an arc that caused the fumes to catch on fire. It put Monterey firefighters' specific training to work. Just eight minutes after the initial call, the fire was knocked down in a careful firefight that takes extra caution on the water. Right amount of water in the right place is really the key. Too much water, the boat sinks and we have an environmental problem. Not enough wire and the fire doesn't go out. The owner was able to jump out of the boat. A witness took this picture showing the back of his hair burned. The boat was immediately towed across the harbor to Monterey Bay Boat Works and firefighters are using thermal imaging to make sure there are no smaller fires smoldering beneath the surface. Now, the owner of the boat was taken to the hospital this evening. They say he has just minor burns, fortunately. They do believe that he was the only person on board at the time of the fire. Uh, they say his family may have been with him but was not on board. Aaron, Dan. All right. Thank you very much, Brittany. Although investigators have a pretty good idea what caused the fire, the investigation will continue. Monterey Fire investigators are working on that. They're also collecting a tally of just how much damage was done to boats nearby.